Hi, I'm Hannah, and today we're going to be talking about aerodynamics, or more specifically, lift, which gives planes, even ones that carry hundreds of people, the capability of flight. Lift is generated when there's high pressure underneath the wing and low pressure above the wing. This carries the airplane up into the air. But where does this pressure come from? Well, to figure that out, let's look at an airfoil. An airfoil is basically looking at the wing of an airplane from its end. You can see the airflow underneath the wing maintains the same speed, whereas the airflow above the wing increases its speed as it travels across a longer distance. This is what creates the area of low pressure above the wing. Here's a graph of the air pressure surrounding the wing. Notice the small areas of high pressure at the front where the air hits the wing and at the back where the air converges. The large area of low pressure above the wing is the fastest moving air because it follows the longer convex side of the wing. But why does it follow it? Why doesn't it just go straight? Well that is caused by something known as the Kawanda effect. The Kawanda effect basically says that when a fluid is moving across a convex curve it's going to want to follow it. So that is why air follows an airfoil and allows planes to fly. Sometimes, whenever your angle of attack gets too steep, like this, the air can no longer follow it because air, just like anything else, has viscosity. Air is a lot like honey. Whenever it moves across the surface of a wing, it sticks to it too. This is called the boundary layer. The boundary layer will stick to the top of the wing, and whenever it tries to go over it, it will slow down and stop and even go the opposite direction. This creates turbulence right there because the air is slowed down. And when the air is slow, that means it's high pressure. And whenever you have high pressure on top of your wing, that means things are not looking so well and you're probably going to fall out of the sky. But luckily, there's a solution to this problem. And the solution is called vortex generators. Although they're very, very small, they make a huge difference. Vortex generators are attached to the leading edge of the wing at a slight angle so that when the air moves across it, it causes it to roll over it, generating a vortex. This vortex mixes the boundary layer of air, which is high pressure, with the lower pressure air above, keeps it moving at the same speed, and follows the wing without sticking to it. This allows planes to maintain lift and not fall out of the sky. And that's how, thanks to aerodynamics, planes fly.